What is going on, guys? Welcome to Quick Picks. My name is Austin Swain with three of my favorite college football bets this week and some big rivalry games on tap here. And I think it starts with one of the most notable rivalries in all of college football. That is Texas and Oklahoma in the Red River Showdown. I love the Longhorns here, minus six and a half points. This is a line I would run to your FanDuel Sportsbook app and grab before it gets any bigger. And it is because of quarterback news. You look at Oklahoma last week. Dylan Gabriel out of the game, suffers a head injury against TCU. He is at best iffy to play this week for the Sooners. And and in Texas, they're getting back their engine that makes it all go. That is Quinn Ewers. We saw him have that shoulder injury against Alabama. He's coming back for this big showdown. And when I look at Texas, they are a completely different team than the team that has lost 10 of the last 13 games here to Oklahoma, including four in a row. Their defense is 17th in total yards per play. That includes that date with Alabama, whereas Oklahoma, their toughest test on defense was last week against TCU. They failed miserably. The Horned Frogs ran up the score. They did not look, they looked all sorts of out of sync, and now they might be without their signal caller. I could see UT blowing out the Sooners here. At this moment in time, you don't even have to lay a touchdown. Give me Texas minus six and a half. From there, I transition from the Big 12 to the SEC, and I'm looking at the Tennessee Volunteers heading to the LSU Tigers. This line doesn't make a lot of sense, right? Hendon Hooker and UT, they haven't put a foot out of place. They're undefeated, only laying two and a half points here in Death Valley. I think it's because something special was brewing in LSU with Brian Kelly. You look, they had the comeback win last week against Auburn. Their win against Mississippi State is aging like fine wine as Mississippi State just blew out Texas A&M. And their lone blemish remains that blocked extra point against Florida State. Otherwise, this is a team that might be undefeated, might be contending for the college football playoff as we speak. And here in their first conference road test, I don't trust this Tennessee defense further than I can throw it. They're 82nd in total defense allowed, 5.1 yards per play against their two power five opponents so far we have missed the best of the number here this line opened at four and a half for lsu it immediately dropped almost to two and a half points here even with money pouring in on Tennessee. I think we follow the reverse linemen move in here. I like the Tigers as slight home dogs here. I think they win outright and they upset the Volunteers with Jaden Daniels at quarterback. From there, I'm going to travel all the way out west to the Pac-12 for another rivalry game here. How about those upstart UCLA Bruins hosting the Utah Utes? And when you look at UCLA, they smashed Washington last Friday. It wasn't even close. It was 40 to 16 through three quarters. And this is a special formula that Chip Kelly might finally have in place with UCLA. They, of course, have the Kelly trademark the dynamic offense dorian thompson robinson at quarterback flying up heisman boards right now but their defense 13th in college football in yards per play they absolutely smothered washington for three quarters last week you look at utah on the other side here they really haven't faced a, a worthy notable test since that world loss against florida to open the season a few easier contests from there now they have this high-flying ucla attack whereas ucla coming off a ranked game they came to the test they stood tall at home i think they do the exact same thing here. I get four points with the Bruins, so even in a field goal game, even if Utah survives, UCLA would cover. I think UCLA wins outright instead. Chip Kelly absolutely in control in Los Angeles.